Hi, it's DeWire. It's still February 4th, 2021. This is part two of the video that I started that's entitled DeWire 2-4-21, right? This is part two of that video. Getting back to Google, or Alphabet, more accurately. Their market cap is around $1.4 trillion, right? Just a smidge under $1.4 trillion. Baidu's is less than one fourteenth of that market cap, right? Less than one fourteenth. And this is a company that has 76% of the Chinese search engine market, right? 76%. Now, my point to you is that Baidu is, as it's known, the Google of China, right? They're diversified. It's not just a search engine. Understand, in the last three years, Baidu, and again, with a market cap less than one-fourteenth of Google's, right? For those of you interested in a long-term debt-to-equity ratio, with Baidu, it's just a point three, right? Well, let me just point out that in the last three years, Baidu is not only China's number one artificial intelligence patent applicant, but they're number one in receiving artificial intelligence patents. Also understand, in this day and age of different smart devices. Badu is in that space. And of course, Badu, in terms of the cloud, cloud AI, has 8.6% share of that market. But the coup de gras is autonomous driving. Now I'm in uh, the Bay Area. By chance, my office happens to be located in Mountain View, California. So for the last three years or so, from time to time, not every day, not every week, but from time to time, I've been on the road and next to me has been a Waymo car. Now they have a driver. Waymo is Google's autonomous driving division. So of course they'll have a driver sitting there, but they're doing nothing. And you see the, you know, LiDAR type equipment on the vehicle. And the vehicle is indistinguishable, quite frankly, from any other vehicle on the road. In other words, folks, autonomous driving is here. It's here now, right? When you're on the street and there's an autonomous driving car, and understand Waymo cars are marked as Waymo cars, right? They are in certain colors and stuff like that. And let's say it's a crowded street and the traffic is moving. It's not like you can spot the autonomous car by the way it's driving. It's not like the autonomous car is shifting lanes and everyone's on their P's and Q's and you know, you're thinking, oh my goodness, autonomous car, let me park my car until this car is at least a mile away because I don't want to deal with some shaky driver less setup, right? No, it's not that way at all. The autonomous cars in the flow of traffic are indistinguishable from regular cars. Well, understand, Baidu right now has a fleet of robo taxis in China that are autonomous driving. This is an underreported story. Well, the coup de gras is that the California Department of Motor Vehicles has now given Badu a permit in Sunnyvale, which is the town right south of Mountain View. And Sunnyvale's crowded, folks. Right? It's where Atari used to be located for video game buffs. They've given Badu a permit for driverless cars on California public roads. 
in Sunnyvale, California. Right now, this is the heart of Silicon Valley. Right? Understand the liability involved. You got some expensive cars on the road out here. Well, according to the, Decal the California Department of Motor Vehicles numbers, would it shock you to learn that not Waymo, Google's unit, but Badu's autonomous driving unit. And again, Badu has 76% of the search market right now in China. But Badu's has the highest number of miles per intervention. In other words, according to some metrics from California's Department of Motor Vehicles, Badu's cars are ahead of Waymo's cars. Now, given that China is an emerging world power, given that China has far more people than the United States, given that the Chinese government has an active interest in trying to reduce pollution in China, right? My point to you is, for me at least, Baidu, a stock I've held for some time, a stock that has delivered for me, a stock that is up 3% today. Baidu is a must-have for me. Please, don't consider this to be investment advice. Everything I say here, you need to independently research. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Right? And so here, I get a company involved in cloud computing that already has 76% of the search market in an economy that might be the world's number one economy within the next decade, right? And of course, autonomous driving, a very hot area, right? As hot as artificial intelligence, another area they're into. Autonomous driving is taking off and Baidu's products are so good that the California Department of Motor Vehicles has given Baidu a permit to operate driverless cars on California's public roads. Right? And understand, again, Sunnyvale is not in the boondocks. This is not some remote farmland area in California. No, this is crowded Silicon Valley. And Badu will be, of course, on the road, just like Waymo right now is on the road in Mountain View. Right, so if you're interested in autonomous vehicles. If you noticed that online in this COVID era has taken off to the point where Google just reported spectacular numbers, well, understand the trends also apply to China, right? People are using remote kitchens. They're ordering food from food providers they're doing shopping online. They're using the search engine online. That trend has taken off in the United States, right? You notice Google great numbers, Amazon such good numbers. Jeff Bezos did a mic drop. He's left the stage after a great quarter. Well, think about it, folks. Baidu's in the same space. They're in the same space in an economy that is one of the world's dominant economies now. And so when I see Baidu and the market cap is less than $100 billion and they're in multiple hot areas, they're doing things to have great products in the pipeline, right? Number one recipient 
of artificial intelligence patents in China over the last three years. If you're into artificial intelligence, that's spectacular. And then, of course, you realize that they're already the dominant search engine in China. For me, this is a no-brainer. I encourage everyone to take a look at Badu. Again, the symbol is B-I-D-U. Right? Let's just say I've been fortunate to have had a stake in this company for some time. Let's just say this is on my list of positions that I need to increase. And I'm someone who's in love with Bitcoin. Right? I'll consider Bitcoin to be the most asymmetrical trade out there in terms of risk reward. But I will say, right, while I'm investing in Bitcoin, I'm also investing in other things. And I love the idea, just love the idea of getting a company that has a market cap one fourteenth of Alphabet. And of course, is doing a lot of research and development that's paying off in patents while of course being involved in autonomous driving as well as the cloud right i'm in badu i like it i'm just encouraging everyone to do their own independent research please consider this video to be for entertainment purposes only your money's your responsibility, and I hope you research how to allocate it to great investments. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.